I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog .com. Today's project is the Making Everyday Bright uh, table favour. There's these cute little chocolates in the shape of a penguin. They measure about three and a half inches in height and two and a quarter inches in width. And we're going to make this cute little project. It opens up like this. And then you can take the penguin out. Oop. For this you'll need the Making Everyday Bright stamp set. And um, this is fabulous because it's also got other occasions, you know, birthdays, Christmas, spring, Valentine's, um, there's Easter, even Halloween. And these are bunny ears. So the images on this stamp set also coordinate with the Christmas Bell Builder Punch. This is part of a bundle with Making Christmas Bright. If you bought these together, you'll save 10%. To make the box, you need a piece of balmy blue cardstock. This has been cut at 7 inches by 6 and 3 quarter inches. In metric, that's 17.8 by 17.1 centimeters. You'll also need some scraps of Whisper White, some glimmer paper, and two 2.5 two inch uh, pieces of Whisper White cut in a square a real red marker and shaded spruce marker, a fine tip glue pen so that you can do the icicles on the box and the square pieces are to make the roof line and the icicles. You'll also need dazzling diamonds, the third smallest of the layering ovals framelit dies and of course your big shot and magnetic platform if you have one. We'll do the icicle parts first because you have to allow the glue to dry. Um, you need to measure one and a quarter inches um, to, to mark the center of the cardstock and then on the adjacent edge you mark one and three eight inches on the top and bottom edges and basically well we'll draw a oops We'll draw a line on that. And this is uh, basically your icicles. So we want to cut below that line to the right of it. Depends whether you're left or right handed. Um, but I'm right handed so I'm cutting toward the right. And it's just random cutting of uh, little icicles now you see the center mark you made there at the one and a quarter inches you need to cut from that point up to that point and I'm just going to use a big pair of scissors and just eyeball it okay you can then cut that from down from that point down to this point but I'm just going to glue that to my roof line before I trim the other side off. Then I'm going to take my fine tip glue pen and just put quite generous amounts of this glue on. And then leave that to dry and you repeat for the other um, two and a half inch square piece. Now bring in your uh, Simply Score board and with the long side at the top, the seven inch uh, side at the top, you score at two and a half inches, three and a quarter inches, five and three quarter inches and six and a half inches. Rotate your cardstock 90 degrees so the small tab is on the bottom 
and you score at three quarter inches and four and a quarter inches. You do need to score some more, but it's better to stop what you're doing now and cut these tabs, these long tabs here first. So cut it right down to that first score line. Okay, turn your card 90 degrees anti-clockwise and just angle that bit there on this narrowed section. Angle it here and cut off this little rectangle on the end. So now your cardstock will look like this. Now we need to cut these. So cut up to that score line there okay then take a little notch out of that bring back your scoreboard and with the tab at the bottom, you want to fold these long tabs back. And the next score line you do is five and five eighth inches. Just move it slightly a little bit to the right and score. And then score again at six and three eighth inches. Now you need to find the centre point on these two sections here. So you score that at one and a quarter down to this second score line here. All right. So one and a quarter down to that score line and four and a half down to that second score line. Now you see this section here, the two score lines here. You just snip off this bit, the narrower bit, so now your box should look like this, your box space. Now you can burnish your lines. There's a last bit of scoring to do. And that is to score a diagonal between that point here and the base of the box there. This rectangle section there. And there's a really easy way to do it. And I'll show you how. So that's the middle. And in the scoreboard, I've drawn a line right in the centre of my scoreboard at the 6 inch mark. So I'm lining this up at the 6 inch mark, put my stylus there, then I swivel the cardstock so that that point is in line with the middle of the 6 inch line and I score down, put my stylus there, swivel it the, the other way and where that point is, that corner is, I score down to there. And I'll do the same for this side. Line up the centre line there. Put your box stylus there. Swivel. Find that point. Marry it up with the six inch line on your scoreboard. And score. And, and do the same for this side. Now you want to reinforce those lines. So... Get your bone folder and crease those diagonal lines. Next we need to die cut our aperture and the aperture will go on this side where the small tab is here. 
so you need to in order for this to fit onto your die cutting machine you really have to fold these sections back okay so now you make your sandwich the magnetic platform if you have one if you don't just your ordinary big shop platform I'm going to take the third, third smallest die sorry and pop it there place my top cutting plate on top and then I'm ready to run that through the big shot so I'll do that off camera now it's time to do a bit of stamping the little snowflake image and stamp some snowflakes onto here in balmy blue swap ink pads now I really should have put a foam mat underneath to stamp for better ink coverage going to colour his hat in balmy blue in real red punch them out with the Christmas build punch put tear and tape on the tab here Off the backing tape and fold that over. Now I need to do the snow banks. I'm going to put a dollop of glue here for one of the penguins. Take my piece of glimmer paper, which is at least two and a half inch in width. Now here's a sneak peek. This is a new punch. It's part of a set of four coming next year in the spring summer catalogue in 2019. I'm just going to punch a few holes in here. It's difficult to get things to stick to glimmer paper so um, I'm just using um, the holes and then putting mini dimensionals through it so let's do that glue that first so now I'll get the mini dimensionals and put them through the holes here put that there now I know I should have trimmed that first but I'll trim it afterwards um, I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the tabs and then this is the front so I'll do the back first and then put glue on this tab and pop that back and then I can see where to trim off my glimmer paper. I'm going to snip off a bit of this tab here. Pop a dimensional on the back of the penguin. These are the mini dimensionals. And pop him in between there. Stick my chocolate in. And close the box. Pinch it. Bring that down. The way to close the box, now I'm just going to trim a little bit off, off here. So that it will close properly. and then shut that one over the top like so bring back our roof apply some adhesive on there 
and then just a dollop of adhesive on the icicles. Turn it upside down and then you can trim it off. And you do the same for the back. Ta-da! So there's my little penguin chocolates. You can use them as gifts or table favours or stocking fillers, whatever you want. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. I hope you liked today's tutorial. If you do, then please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe. You can share it on Facebook and my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the show more section. They'll also be listed on my blog. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Bye.